and we're live. Greetings, friends. Happy Saturday. Jay Lash with the thumbs ups. Appreciate you, friend. Always know I'm going to have an excellent stream if I see Jay Lash with his thumbs ups. Thumbs up, sir, to Jay Lash. Thank you, friend. Callum says, just wanted to drop in and say hello. Hope everyone's doing well. I've been chilling out the past few days. Hopefully, I'll be here tomorrow for a while, unlike tonight. Hope everyone has a good night. I hope you also have a good night, Callum, and I hope you uh, get plenty of rest. Miko says, hello, Super Antonio and Sadie. Hello, mods. Howdy, fellers. Happy weekends. And Christian is here. Greetings, Christian. How are you doing? Appreciate you, friend. How's your Saturday going? How is all of your Saturday going? Did you like Mary Beth in the, um, in the thumbnail? Yeah. How are you feeling about that? I thought I got a very flattering picture of her. So we are showcasing the Black Arabian tonight. And Christian says, all right, goodbye, Callum. You have a good night too, friend. Get some rest now. You hear also, hello, Super Antonio. We have a chat box now, but it's only showing it's only showing your chats. It's not scrolling. I wanted to scroll. I wanted to show everyone's chat. Eagles Pro says hi. Greetings, Eagles. And I don't know how to get it to show everybody's chat. See it'll fade. Eagles Pro will fade over time. There. See? I don't like that. Um, and there's the Black Arabian. Six viewers in the chat. Eight viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Happy Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend. We're just hanging out, playing with a Black Arabian. This is my favorite way. I never, I've never, I don't think I've ever bought this horse. I always use this encounter. And this encounter has been very good for the channel. I don't know. I I don't think I discovered it, but I had one of the earliest videos on it. Let's get out of here. So again, like Biscuit, this horse has been very good to the channel. Kratos Morgan says, do you play Red Dead Online? I do not, Kratos. Do you? I'm bored with Red Dead Online. I don't like microtransactions. I don't like sharing this open world with a bunch of randos that I don't know and that I don't care about. And I'm not interested in playing as, you know, as my character. I like playing as Arthur. But I will admit that you guys get all the best clothing and horses and weapons in Red Dead Online. Ben's Trends is here and says, well, I'm here now. Hey, everybody. Hey, Ben's. Greetings. We have a chat box, so you are appearing on screen. How do you like that? Kratos says, Arthur or John, this is Arthur's channel. So we do have a Marston Mondays where we free roam with John on Mondays. What about you, Kratos, Arthur, or Morgan, or John? Ben says, nice chat box. Yeah, do you like it? I don't know how to get it to scroll. I want it to scroll and display everybody's chat. But I can't figure out how to do that. Let's see, open source properties. What's old school? No. 
Oh, that's interesting. Let's try old school. Show platform icons. What's that? Extra emotes. Do you want extra emotes? Custom code. I don't know what that is at all. Christian says, Super Antonio, I did another playthrough. Still in chapter two. Have completed weapons expert, master hunter, and explorer, and I have nine health, nine stamina, and nine dead eye with Arthur. Well done, Christian. And Kratos says, I like Arthur Morgan as a character more than John. I can understand that. And Christian says, don't forget to like this great live stream Super Antonio has decided to do for all of us unruly bastards. And thank you, Christian. As of now, you are the only mod present, a junior mod. And Ben says, me and my Dutch warm blood Judas have been on an adventure today. I've completed every survivalist challenge on my John save. I don't well, well done, Benz, but I don't like that theme, old school. What's Chunky look like? I don't like Chunky. We're going back to clean. But I'll have to do a little research on this. Ten viewers in the chat, welcome, friends. Appreciate you being here. Happy Saturday. Jesse. Gilliam says, is there going to be a GTA 4 port for PS4 in 2024? Probably not, Jesse. I would assume that um, everything going forward is going to be PS5. Just like you can't find any old, you know, they don't produce any new content for PS3. It might be on PS Now. And this Black Arabian encounter, uh, there's a variation of it in Blackwater for John. And it's always at this corner. It's another robbery. You don't have to save them. I like saving them. And the Black Arabian, again, a female, is right here. Kredo says, do you prefer GTA or Red Dead Redemption? I prefer Red Dead Redemption. This is a Red Dead Redemption channel. Ben says, I've always preferred John. He just has a likability about him. He evolved into a great bounty hunter and family man in Red Dead 1. Yes, he did. And Christian says, how was your Saturday, Super Antonio, with Sadie? Also, what was for dinner? I had pizza with my friends. Caden, my friend, bought it, and we got a $13 deal. So we got two pizza boxes. They were very good and hot. That sounds good, Christian. I'm glad you uh, broke bread with friends. That's, um, that's very important to do. Brett Tucker says, who do you think would win in a duel, Arthur or John? Uh, at this point, in 1899, Arthur. But why would they fight? Why would they be in a duel? Look at those... Look at that night sky. It's a beauty. Ben says, I had homemade Mexican food, queso and tacos. And Jesse says, actually, there's going to be a GTA 4 port for PS4 in 2024, for PS4 and PS5 and Nintendo Switch. Okay. Well done, Jesse. I had no idea. But I don't pay much attention to gaming news. It's not that kind of channel. It's interesting, though, that you um, you knew the answer to the question, but you asked it anyways. What's that about? Typical says, is there any way to get the Dark Bay Turkoman in Chapter 2? No. No, there is not. Not unless you're rocking a version 1 and you use the old Sandini horse glitch. And Ben says, Arthur versus John is incorrect. Arthur and John, Arthur and John is the only way. Brett Tucker says, what horse do you use the most on your first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2? That's a good question. I think I was like everyone else and used the White Arabian, and then I switched to the Gold Turkoman. 
uh, in chapter three, I believe, or chapter four. And here's another version of that Blackwater, Black Arabian. And Kratos says, did you get the high honor or low honor ending in the first playthrough? I got the high honor. And Eagle says, I'm going to leave. I figured I'd come by. I appreciate you coming by, Eagles. You have a great night. Happy weekend. Ben says, I'm going to do the 90 challenges on my own pace, so I don't get burnt out. I'm sitting at a respectable 47 challenges done. You're halfway there, Ben's. Well done. And Serena says, hi, Antonio. I'm here. Greetings, Serena. Welcome. Appreciate you, friend. Um, everybody say hi to Serena. And Serena, what did you have for afternoon tea? Brett says, who would win in a duel, John or Micah? I'm going to have to give it to John. But again, why would they fight? And there is a duel between John and Micah in Epilogue 2. Miko says, hello, Serena. Greetings, Miko. I, did I say greetings to you? I, I think I did. I hope I did. Christian says, hello, Serena. Glad you have made it. Unfortunately, it's only you. And me, as mods here, hope David or Odog show up. Also hope David gets better. Ah, thank you, Christian, for remembering. Typical says, I tried to get the American Standard and tumble. We doing the glitch. In Chapter 4, A Man of Honor. I tried to enter the stable, but it wouldn't let me. As Arthur, why is that? Which American Standard, Brett? The one in Tumbleweed? That, that, um, that stable isn't open to Arthur. The only thing open during that glitch is um, the stores. You can buy outfits. Serena says, hi, Brett. And Brett Tucker says, hi. And Serena says, hi, Benz. Serena, Sadie's here. She's asleep. She just had a bath. Let's see if we can wake her up for you. We are joined once more by our uh, co-host, Sadie the Channel Dog, who just had a bath a shower and she is very clean and smells good and is uh happy to be here more or less and david's here david says there he is greetings david appreciate you friend thanks for sh uh thanks for being here um what's for dinner and ben's has the star hearts emoticon and david says there she is that's to you serena um with these star hearts emoticons and Serena says, had hot chicken legs, chips, and gravy. And Typical says, is there any way to get in the stable? Not that I know of, Typical. David says, Mr. Super Antonio, Mr. David. Serena says, hi, David. David says, was outside with Odin. Quality time with the big dogs. Christian says, hello, David. How are you, friend? Was just talking about you. Hope you're doing well. Heard you were sick, and I hope you get better. Serena says, hi, Sadie, looking beautiful as always. Serena says, uh, Sadie says, you're looking beautiful as always. And typical, no, there is not. David says, the boys had a bath today, too. Yeah, Saturday is a good day for a bath. I have a shower attachment, so I can just spray her. What do you do, um, David? Because you got some big dogs. Ben says, I have found a new favorite sauce for cooking. It's called Berman's Avocado Sauce. Great on tacos. And David says, Chris. And Miko says, hey, David. And David says, Della's Grinders. A grinder is a type of sandwich, I believe. What's in it? I'm going to look up Della's Grinders. David says, Miko, Benz, and Serena says, hi, typical.
baking fresh bread for three generations. Family owned since 19... Oh, that looks good. That looks yummy. Did you get a classic cold grinder or a party grinder? Or a hot grinder? Our classic hot grinders include meat, cheese, salt, and black pepper. You can choose meatball, roast beef, dip, barbecue, beef, hot pastrami with mustard and pickles. I would get hot pastrami with provolone or Swiss... No Swiss. And I'll get a whole double down, but I'm going to split it. Ooh, a half pounder. And have half today and half tomorrow. With pickles, black olives, uh, mayo, spicy brown mustard. They have a loaded vegetarian. If you're into that. Cruz says, wait, where are we? Ben says, I was able to see my new bulldog after birth from some pictures. She has a bright white stripe on the right side of her face, like a lightning bolt. Let's call her Bolty. Good old Bolty. And Ben says, what's up, David? Cruz says, the day has arrived. The Black Arabian Appreciation Day. Yes, indeed. Cruz. Serena says, I have videos of Arthur that I'm going to edit and upload later. Just some memories, missions, etc. Well done, Serena. Serena says, hi, Cruz. And David says, just make sure you edit the horse crashes, star hearts. And Brett says, on my first playthrough, I used the Raven Black Shire till chapter three, then the Brindle Thoroughbred till chapter four, then the Black Arabian for the rest of the game. I used the Gold Turk and then switched to Buell and then back to the Mahogany Bay for the end of the game. Ben says, I can't wait until the Brown Leopard appears on Horse Showcase. I better make a note of that. Coming on, girl. Come on, man. Next week is going to be the Andalusian the for David, the Strawberry Andalusian, and also the Rose Bay or the Rose Gray. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, leopard... Appa. I don't know what that means. Make a note of that, Morgan. Cruz says, hi, Serena. And David says, the bread, Mr. Super Antonio, is the best. Yeah, um, I love fresh baked bread. David says, Cruz. And Serena says, getting good at writing again. I played Red Dead yesterday for a couple hours. Getting better. Yeah, it's just a matter of returning to getting your old reflexes back. What are we doing in cougar country? Oh yeah, this is a wolf attack. How does the wolf, uh, how does the Black Arabian perform against a wolf pack? Not very well. And Serena says, I do online, gets a bit boring. Sometimes I try to get a video online I do my, miss my dog and horses online. They miss you, Serena. Ben says, I will hopefully complete Sharpshooter tomorrow, then Horseman, then maybe Bandit, then the dreaded Herbalist and Gambler. Brett says, I'm bad with names. I named the Raven Blackshire Morgan, <laughs> Morgan Jr. That works. It's pretty funny. And Christian says, what's cool, Super Antonio? John and Arthur's bond changes in Chapter 4. Doesn't know how to thank Arthur for saving Jack. But in chapter six, they call each other brothers before Arthur takes his long nap. That's true. But you know, John changes in chapter four. That's when he finally accepts his responsibility as a father and steps up. Cruz says, watching boxing, boxing right now and the Arabians athletic prowess on this live. I sure love my sports and athletics. Yeah, I know what you mean, Cruz. Boxing, the sweet science. Serena says, got more subs, Antonio. Well done, Serena. Let's check out your channel, see how you're doing. Go to channel. Shout out to the mobs. 
the mods, uh, David and Serena and the junior mod, Christian. Appreciate you being here, friends. Really like that, um, your new um, profile picture, Serena. And you have 456 subs. Well done, Serena. And you say, I'm a gamer. I upload Red Dead Redemption 2 content and Red Dead Online. I also upload GTA 5 story mode content and GTA Online. And I also upload other games. Comment if you want me to play other games. Ben says, I watched the go back for the money cut scene again when Arthur says, I'll see you around, John Marston. Such a cool line. Then when John says, be safe. Serena says, I love John. He is a legend, but I love Arthur more. David says, shared room. You can get a convo with Abigail. Interesting, David. I don't think I've gotten that. Ben says, I have one of the really cool Red Dead Redemption content creators sub to me. Well done, Ben. Serena, I did watch your big score mission. And the one I was talking about was John Marston, Memories, Bounty, Mark Johnson. That was the one I'd watched. Yeah. Serena says, thank you. I did change descriptions. Did you see it? Is it okay? Yes, it's more than okay. It's grand, Serena. And David has a suggestion for you since it says in your description to give you games to play. And his suggestion is... Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Brett says, I, then I named the Brindle Thoroughbred Lee after Lee from The Walking Dead. Um, I don't remember him, but, you know, I stopped watching The Walking Dead pretty much after Glenn died the first time. I didn't like that bait and switch. And Cruz says, would it be acceptable to wear a duster co coat nowadays in modern society? Um... Yeah, you're pretty much allowed to wear anything you want. You can wear a dress. You can wear, you know, those yoga pants. Um, I don't think there are any more rules for dressing. So do what you want to do, Cruz. Serena says, thank you, Antonio. And oh, LOL, David, I'll be scared to play. You would not be scared to play, Serena. It's not a scary game at all, I promise you. It's combat and climbing. And it's humans. It's all humans, isn't it, David? I don't recall any kind of, like... I think you have to, like, hunt an elk. But that's about it. It's just human against human. And what's scary about that? Ben says, I would love to make content, but I would probably upload my Xbox clips on my channel. I only stream with my friend on Twitch. And David says, John and Abigail sitting on the porch. Okay, I'll look for that. And Ben's, um, you got to start somewhere. If you want to make content, just make content. David says, concerning um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, nothing scary about it. It does have legendary animals. Yeah, unless you're afraid of Vikings, you have nothing to worry about. You would love it. You get a pet raven. You get a pet wolf. You can, you know, you can customize your character. You can add tattoos. I always, and um, and what I like, what really appeals to me is you can play as a female or a male, and I think you would really enjoy playing as a female redheaded Viking. Brett says, then I named the Black Arabian Bella. Once again, I'm bad with names. I just Google the popular horse names. Bella, I would assume, is after Twilight. Serena says, I was watching Days Gone gameplay from a YouTuber. Looks awesome. Definitely to be scared to play. I would love to explore that map with no zombies. LOL. Cruz says, Vikings can be kind of scary, though, Super Antonio. Only if they're, like, bloodstained and coming at you with um, dual wielding an axe and a sword or an axe and a shield. And they're yelling, chanting, Odin, Odin, Odin. And you happen to be you know, a monk in 12th century England. 
David says a cat, a big fluffy, fluffy white one. Yeah, Serena, there are cats in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But I'm having a great time in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are, we are at level 20. Brett says, then on my second playthrough, I named the Gold Turk Goldilocks. <laughs> well, that works. Ben says, I finally came up with a name for my war horse recreation in Red Dead 2. Think Judas fits a dark horse with a light colored mane. Yep. Sometimes in earlier playthroughs, I would give a contrasting mane to this um, mane and tail to this black Arabian. Cruz says, I named my Arabian Gaiu on my second and third playthrough. Yeah. Did everyone like Mary Beth in the thumbnail. I liked it. I thought she was looking sassy. I'm going to continue to put girls in the thumbnails. But we'll probably do Siri from um, Assassin's Creed next. Just to confuse everyone. Or not uh, from The Witcher. Actually, actually we, we could do Ivor from Assassin's Creed. Maybe we'll do Ivor next for Serena. Uh, Cruz says, name my Arabian. No, we read that. Uh, ben says, he used to play Assassin's Creed 3. If I played Valhalla, I would probably blast Dragula in the background in the tense Viking fights. Yeah, the raids. And Cruz says, and gave my Arabian dark brown hair highlights. Brett says, then I named the dark big Turk Chubb. Serena says, the snow in this game is so beautiful. Brett asks, what is your favorite Turkoman? I would have to say the Dark Bay or Bronze Turkoman. Miko says, we love Mary Beth. Mary Beth loves you, Miko. She thinks you are a dark, angry poet. Angry and sad. Serena says, yes, great thumbnail. Serena, you're a great thumbnail. David says, start off in the snow in Assassin's Creed. Yeah, you're in Norway, I think. And Ben says, Mary Beth is a nice addition. Abigail is my favorite camp girl, probably due to my John favoritism. I can, I can understand that. However, Abigail doesn't dress as racy as Karen and, um, and Mary Beth and Miss Grimshaw. What's that about? Abigail and, um, and Miss Tilly are... Modest, nice girls. Brett says the Dark Bay Turk is my favorite as well. And then Sadie is a, you know, an angry girl. We just camp for better weather. This is old footage. But we were running out of Black Arabian footage. Cruz says, what were you doing up north in the map, Super Antonio? We were doing, um, we were trying to take nature photography for my ambient shorts, but the weather was not cooperating. Brett says, what is your favorite Arabian? Mine is the white Arabian, uh, red chestnut. But again, that has to do with um, how well it is done for the channel. 
Ben says, I once got the Beecher's Hope dialogue where Uncle talks to Abigail about how Arthur told him about how John is the luckiest man alive and makes her cry. I loved that interaction. I need to spend more time at the ranch because I've never gotten that, Ben's. Miko says, Abigail must want to move away from her past as a working girl, and especially now she's in a relationship with John. I agree, Miko. Plus, she's older than um, those girls. And she's in a different place now, emotionally, because she's a mom. Serena says, I camp at the snow sometimes, especially at night. The noises you hear is scary. And Eric Halava is here. Greetings, Eric. Happy Saturday. Christian says, can't believe John left the gang for a year. No wonder Arthur was so mad at him in chapter one and two. Christian, that would make a great DLC that year that John is gone. What kind of adventures did he get up to? Did he go back to New Austin? Did he help a bunch of people? Did he, um, did he meet another girl? So many opportunities. Serena says, hi, Eric. And David says, howdy. And Cruz says, have you gotten the interaction with Abigail where you can hug her on the front porch? No, I think the only thing I've gotten is like when they sleep together. That's the only one that I think that I can recall. And Ben says, I find the Arabian fine. If I need a high tier horse, it's Foxtrotter all for the win. My horse, Wendico, is an amazing Foxtrotter. The Arabians, um, you'll never find a better horse for acceleration and um, agility, twisty and turny. Great reflexes on the Arabians, very skittish, of course. Big divas. Cruz says, Serena says, Cruz, I don't think I ever got that. Been playing since game uh, release. I don't remember if I did it unless it's on one of the vids years ago. Brett, I would agree with you. What is your favorite Tennessee Walker? Mine has to be the Mahogany Bay. Yeah, but the um, gold Palomino Tennessee Walker has one of the prettiest coats in the game. Serena apologizes for typos when we have said many times that Serena never has to apologize. Ben says, I was thinking about being really nice to Abigail at Beecher's Hope, then being an absolute menace with the lowest honor. You could do that, Ben. No one is stopping you. 16 viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Appreciate you being here. Happy Saturday. Did you like Mary Beth? In the thumbnail, we are um, showcasing the Black Arabian for Saturday's horse show, and I'm very happy that you're here. You may have noticed I have listed a lot of Amazon links in the pinned comment and also the video description. It's a really easy way to support the channel as an Amazon affiliate. Obviously, I would get a commission if you bought one of those products, but really all you have to do is click on a link and if you're buying anything from Amazon, I will get a commission from it. So at no additional cost to you, you can support the channel and make um, Sadie happy, who's asleep right now and not paying attention. And that is the last I will mention the Amazon affiliate links. Appreciate you being here, friends. The second channel is plugging along. I think we're at 682 subs. I am enjoying those um, those movie quote shorts. I just made a bunch of them this morning. Then I had to, um, then I, you know, like I had to do a bunch of other stuff. So I couldn't finish them, but it's gonna be fun. Christian says, Super Antonio, you can talk about the Amazon links no matter what. You're just telling us how we can support you even more. And it makes Sadie happy. If 
by probably buying treats for her. Yes, it, indeed it does, Christian. Sadie does like her treats. Yeah, I'm not good at self-promotion. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I think the channel never blew up. Um, I didn't make clickbaity videos. I didn't get into feuds with anyone. And I'm not really good at promoting myself. Never have been. Ben says, I sometimes leave the ranch and return barefoot <laughs> with a level 10 beard and the longest hair, coming back like a dirty hobo. And what does um, Abigail say, say then, Ben? And Serena says, nice cruise. I do chores on the ranch. I'm out riding most of the time. And Brett says, second favorite Tennessee walker. I forget the name, but it's the closest horse that looks like Micah's. Um, there is the Black Rabicano Tennessee Walker. I also like the Red Roan Tennessee Walker. Very pretty. Very pretty coat. I feel like Miss Tilly likes that, that horse before she gets Sassafras, the Leopard Appaloosa. Serena is out riding most of the time. Yeah, I know what you mean, Serena. Eric H. says, on this playthrough, I'm writing the Black Shire named Hey There, Mister, and the Piebald Tobiano named Hey, Mister. Currently in Chapter 2, on my way to Hanging Dog Ranch for, weapon, for Weapons Expert 4. Well, those are two of my favorite horses. I like the Black Shire because, um, because you know, Hosea gives it to us. And I love the Piebald Tobiano Hungarian Halfbred. That's probably my favorite horse in the game. Ben says, I come back and then Jack says to me, you're inebriated, sir. And then I assume John says, I'm not drunk, boy. Cruz says, you only make about 30 bucks from doing all the chores at the ranch by the end of each day. The rancher's life is an honest one. Yeah, honest day's labor, it pay, you know, it's like, it's so hard to earn. It takes so long to earn, and you can spend it so fast. You can spend it in a minute. What's that about? Miko says, my last Arabian was the Rose Gray Bay, who I named North Star. Don't tell O-Dog. Yeah, where's O-Dog? Where's O-Dog trashing the Arabians? What's that about? Christian asks, what did you and Sadie have for dinner, Super Antonio? We had the other half of the, um, what were those things? It was a salad. Oh, enchilada salad. The other half of the enchilada salad from yesterday. And um, Serena says, I might restart the game on where Arthur gets kidnapped by Colm. I keep Michael waiting. I keep going past him, LOL. That sounds like a plan, Serena. Brett says, Hungarian half-breads are the best warhorse. I've never seen another warhorse be so tough. I love him. Perfect height for Arthur. And Ben says, I was thinking about exchanging my piebald for Arthur as for a few spot Appaloosa named Loopy or Snorfax if it's a male. And David says, the flaxen Hungarian half-bred for me. And, <laughs> and O-Dog is here and says, well, they are ass. Greetings, O-Dog. Appreciate you being here, friends. Friend, happy Saturday. And Serena says, hi, O-Dog. And David has the... Moon Dog Emoticon. And he is laughing. He's laughing, O Dog. You made David laugh. Your work here is done. Hey there, yeah. I got dog hair on my nose. So I gotta wipe my nose. I don't like doing that on camera. Miko says, Hey, O Dog. And Brett says, Hi, O Dog.
And we're back. Ben says, um, I know some people name their horses in Greek stuff, but I enjoy biblical things. Jericho for the Appaloosa, Samson the Shire, Judas for the warm blood. Odog says, hi, everyone. Back to the loft for me. Odog, appreciate you here. I appreciate you being here, Odog. And I hope you're having a good weekend. David, did you watch the American Horror Story where it's, it's called American Horror Story Double Feature? Um, where the first half, they're in Cape Cod and they're like vampires. I've been watching that. I've seen it before. I really like it. They, uh, it's a bunch of writers. It's writers and um, like a playwright. And um, they're addicted to this black pill, black pill that um, enhances their creativity to like, you know, an immense extent where they're like producing masterpieces and getting rich. But it also creates an unholy thirst for human blood. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Christian says, Super Antonio, also, what are we drinking today? Is it tea or water? It is a combination of the both, Christian. Uh, green tea and water with a dash of apple cider vinegar. Serena says, there, those are good names, Ben's. And Ben says, the Arabians to me are... A, our overpriced skittish donkey. And Ben says, thanks, Star Hearts. Brett says, once I tried to name my horse Marshall, but apparently that is a profanity. Interesting. And Odog says, amen, Ben's, with a thumbs down. David says, me too, Ben's. Even named my, shi my shire Sabbath. And Serena says, you're welcome, Ben's. Cruz says, what season is that American horror story about vampires? I believe it is season 10. David says, I did not Super Antonio. Well, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And Ben says, I tried to name my horse Bob when I first played through, but apparently it's profane. What's that about? Yeah, I just named my horses Super Antonio. Cruz says, I wish I could live the life of a vampire at times. I suppose it might be interesting if you get over, you know, having to kill to sustain yourself. Eric says, the surprise inspection at HDR went well, but cleanup is needed. And Serena says, I like when you name your horse the stable man. Sometimes says it's a good name or not so sure if it's in story mode or online. It is in story mode. And Ben says, right on, O-Dog. And Eric, are you talking about American Horror Story? And Serena says, I get called back. Brett says, would you be rather be a werewolf or a vampire? Brett, um, that's a great question. And you would think I'd rather be a vampire because, you know, vampires are cool um, and they get to live forever, ever, and they're, you know, they're suave. But I think I'd rather be a werewolf because they're so physical. And um, now that I have a dog, I think she would really appreciate if I were also a dog. Serena says, I get called vampire or nocturnal. Um, well, Serena, as you know, there are lots of vampires in Australia because the bats are so big. Sometimes you probably have to fight vampires while riding your kangaroo. Cruz says, in Twilight, they made an ethical way of consuming human blood, I think. Yeah, they would have to get around that for all the teen girls, but I don't know what that would be. In a lot of in a lot of vampire novels, they um, they 
you can consume like animal blood you just don't get the same high or like protein count that you get from um human blood and so and so you know the hero will be like drinking cow's blood or you know rats Ben says, the stable owner called my Mustang Edge, a bad name, came from the 99 car. I was going to fist fight him. Okay, Benz. Cruz says, and would you ever play a vampire video game, Super Antonio? I don't even know of any sort of vampire video game. Serena says, I loved all the Twilight movies. Um, Serena, all the Twilight movies loved you. Um, who's that guy, Edward? He played Batman. And Cedric Diggory. What's his name again? Did you see the Batman with um with Edward? Miko says I'm a gremlin. I eat and take a bath after midnight. And Serena says, LOL Antonio, you make me laugh. Well, Miko, I would assume that it is much cooler after midnight in your part of the world. Brett says, also werewolf still live for I believe a couple hundred years. And Ben says, I stay up around to 3 a.m. on the weekends mostly. Don't know how, because most of the teenagers I know are going to sleep early and are tired 24-7. Well, you know, you've got that teenage metabolism going for you, Ben's, and you're using it to stay up late. Tinker says, hello again. What do you think Red Dead 3 will be about? Do you think it should be about Landon Ricketts? No, Tinker. I think it should be about young Dutch and Hosea and young Miss Grimshaw. Around 1880, perhaps? That's where I would like it to be. The other option would be the year before Blackwater and using Davy as a main character. And then after that, you, um, you know how Davy's character ends in Chapter 1. And so after the end of the game, you um, free roam as Arthur. So Arthur is not an, a playable character, um, you know, during story mode. But then like John, you take over for Arthur. And that would be a lot of fun. The gang would be alive and happy and it would be like just free roaming in chapter two. Ben says, I've been playing pixel art games. My favorite is definitely the Hotline Miami series. Cruz says, they're making a Penguin movie with the same actor. Yeah, I heard about that. And Brett says, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go. I hope you have a wonderful night. And fly on, Super Antonio. Brett, I appreciate you being here, friend. You have a great weekend. We will be doing a, um, a campfire chat tomorrow, Sunday campfire chat. And I have footage to share of this one being active and silly and you will appreciate it ben says to me 11 p.m is still the middle of the day and crew says i am a, also a fan of the vampire aesthetic dark black hair and pale ivory skin with dark clothes pretty cool do you like the underworld series Cruz? vampires versus werewolves and Cruz says, the Ben's, the older you get, the more you appreciate an earlier bedtime, LOL. And David says, see ya, BT, for Ben's trends. And Ben says, Cruz, that's true. I, you know, there's, um, there's a bunch. I, I am so up on vampire movies. I love vampire movies for the most part. Uh, 30 Days of Night. I liked those vampires. They were like very savage and vampire. Like uh, the... TV, the HBO series True Blood, which was great, except for the last season. I have, I think I have all the seasons except the last season on, um, on Blu-ray. I've never read the books. I heard the books are quite racy. What's that about? Also heard like True Blood was, it's like, for when the girls grew up after reading the Twilight series, then they would move on to True Blood, because that was, you know, that one had the racy scenes in it. 
And Ben says, I always thought Dusk Till Dawn and Lost Boys were the coolest movies back then. I still think they're the coolest movies, Ben's. And Serena says, awesome stream. Uh, Serena, you're an awesome stream. And Serena says, bye, Antonio. Enjoy your weekend. Serena, are you taking off? I hope, you, I, hope I see you um, tomorrow for the campfire chat. And um, I appreciate you being here. Everyone say goodbye to Serena. Ben says, 30 Days of Night is a classic. Always watched Teen Wolf, the show with my dad, a lot at seven years old. And Cruz says, never heard of the Underworld series, Super Antonio. Though, to be honest, not a big fan of werewolves. Too brutish. Cruz, um, it's about a war between vampires and werewolves. And um, it follows uh, a werewolf hunter, a vampire werewolf hunter, forget her name i think you would like it i know you would like it they're all like super cool vampires um what's her name her name in the game or in the is celine but who is she played by kate beckinsale she wears a lot of black vinyl what's that about Serena says, Howl was a good scary movie. They are in a train. I've seen that one, Serena. That was cool. That one, um, it's in London. The train breaks down in the countryside, and, um, and there's a werewolf outside, and they have to fight the werewolf. Also, of course, American Werewolf in London, another classic. I, I see a bad moon rising. Eric says, Lost Boys and Bram Stoker's Dracula. I have crossed oceans of time to see you. Um, with a very young Commissioner Gordon. Um, great costumes in that one. I believe the costumes won an Oscar. Also, that was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Orak says, Bye-bye, Star Hearts. And Serena says, Lost Boys was my favorite. Um... Ben says, I once read a racy book when I was around eight. It was the Walking Dead comic book. It had a graphic racy part. It was super awkward. Yeah, I can imagine at that age, Ben's. And Cruz says, if I could marry a vampire woman, I would, Super Antonio, at a heartbeat's notice, too. Another great vampire movie is Let the Right One In, which also explores that um, relationship between a vampire and human. Would you want to remain human, Cruz, or would you want to be turned? Ben says, my favorite movies growing up was Speed and Silver Bullet, Stephen King's masterpiece. Serena says, I love Bigfoot movies, and S Silver Bullet is a great movie. Silver Bullet, oh, okay, now I remember. That's the werewolf movie with Gary Busey as the uncle. Yeah, I, rem I know that, and the kid in the wheelchair. Corey Haim, maybe. I think it's Corey Haim. Yeah, and the name of the... Um, his wheelchair, which is motorized, is the Silver Bullet. Also, Bill from um, from It named his bike Silver. What's that about? Stephen King reusing names. Serena says, I like American Werewolf in London. Yeah, that's a classic. I love that movie. Eric says, Castlevania, no one? Yeah, uh, anime, you know, it's like I've watched Death Note because everyone, and, um, and what's that one with Faye Valentine? Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, I'm like very ill-informed on, on anime. I just haven't watched enough of, of it. Ghost in the Shell. So, yeah. Yeah, Eric, do you recommend Castlevania? I did watch a Japanese live action series called Tokyo Vampire Hotel, which was ridiculously awesome. It's on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It's super violent. It's like it's like Kill Bill Volume 1, but with vampires and all in Japanese. Cruz says, I would have to turn, Super Antonio, to be with my 
uh, wife for all eternity because my affection for her would be genuine, ideally speaking. Cas Eric says Castlevania is a good show. Ben says, I love Stephen King's lesser known gems like Sleepwalkers, The Tommyknockers, and The Storm of the Century. What about needful things? That was a TV movie about a shop owner who can give you your heart's desire, but it comes at a price. Eric says, most fun for me, the Blade movies. Yeah, I, I agree. Like everyone, com you know, thinks Black Panther was the first African-American. Well, he's not African-American. He's African-African um, black superhero, completely forgetting about Blade in the 90s. Also, Blade, Blade 1 did bullet time before The Matrix. Came out before. And it was the exact same slowed down bullets dodging. Cruz says, Faye Valentine from Bukhavo Bebop had a big influence on my type of woman I'm attracted to. I can understand that, Cruz. And Ben says, my two favorites have always been Dragon Ball Z and Cowboy Bebop. My friends called me a boomer for liking old anime. And Mr. Maddie is here and says, Howdy, greetings, Mr. Maddie. Welcome, friend. Happy Saturday. I can't think of any anime that that I love or would recommend. Um, apart from the Miyazaki movies, which I don't think are... I don't know if you classify that as anime. I do love like Japanese film and samurai movies, but I, I think I prefer live action. Cruz says the first Blade movie intro with Blade shutting down the nightclub was an amazing scene. Um, yeah, I agree. The vampire rave. Christian says, all right, Super Antonio, I shall be making my way. Going to go by friend. Going to go by friends. Glad to see you on this great live stream. Don't forget to like it, friends. See you all next stream. Christian, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you, friend. You have a great rest of your weekend and hope to see you tomorrow for Sunday's Campfire Chat. Miko says, bye, Christian. David says, see ya, Chris. And Odog says, later, Christian. And you rate the brown peace sign. Cruz says, Cowboy Bebop and Neon Evangelican are good. Yep. Yeah, I just can't, I don't know, I can't get into it. But I don't like animation in general. I mean, it's not something I really actively watch. Cruz says, also Ghost in the Shell movies. Yeah, I, I've, saw, I've seen the originals and... Um, and I had the Scarlett Johansson one on Blu-ray, but that's basically because I like Scarlett in that stealth suit. What's that about? Wish they'd make an action figure of that. Um, Serena says, bye, Christian. Enjoy your day. Ben says, I have such weird taste. Westerns, anime, rock music, zombie games, and many more. Friends, that just means you are a highly developed human being with multiple interests and an active imagination. And you play this game. Nobody's seen the True Blood series. I highly recommend it. I mean, if you like vampires, southern vampires, it's set in Louisiana. But it stars an Australian and a Brit playing Americans. What's that about? 
Cruz asks, would you prefer Scarlett Johansson with blonde hair or darker hair, Super Antonio? She did a movie where she had to dye her hair black, LOL. It was a weird movie. I know that movie, um, Cruz, where she's um, she's naked a whole bunch in that movie. I also have that movie on Blu-ray. What's that about? I like her as a blonde, but, you know, I'm, I like her voice. And, um, and um, she's a very healthy girl. If you know what I'm saying, I mean, I, she reminds me of Karen for some reason. What's that about? Um, ben says a lot of anime would, would come across, would get racy out of nowhere. <laughs> and I would have to skip really fast since my little sister's room is right next to mine. And Eric says, I would watch Full Metal Alchemist and Dragon Ball Z with my son when he was younger. Not vampires but really good shows. Yeah, Eric, I watched um, I watched The Clone Wars, which is not anime, it's just straight cartoons, with my nephew. Every Saturday, we would watch The Clone Wars and play Legos. Um, and that's some of my happiest memories. Serena says, I love King Kong movies. And Serena asks, has anyone watched the show from... Something, someplace. Cruz says, Phantom, Requiem for the Phantom, is also one of my favorite animes. Clone Wars, as I recall, had a very anime aesthetic to it. You know, the big eyes, the angular faces. Serena says, Christine is a great movie. Is that a true story? I heard it is. Of a haunted car? Maybe. I heard an interesting um, myth that is popular in England about um, there are ghost dogs that haunt cemeteries, older cemeteries in um, England. Black dogs. Because the theory was the first person buried in that in the cemetery will haunt it forever. So they would bury a dog, a black dog. And so on moonlit nights at midnight, when you're walking past the village cemetery, sometimes you will be chased by a black dog that is guarding the cemetery gates and your blood will run cold. You will shiver and call out to your God. And I don't know how long I can sustain this story because I don't know what else to say. There's your campfire chat. Um, where were we? Cruz says, the thing I always really like about Scarlett's acting is that she always embraced her femininity. She knew how to capture an audience. She sure did, Cruz. Wow. What's that about? And Ben says, I watched Roadhouse with my dad and grandparents all the same, all in the same room at 10. My dad would always say, Ben, turn your head. And I would get terrified when they would build up to the racy scenes. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be seeing that at a young age as a young lad. It's not, you know, it's not important. It's not, you know, it's just going to, it's just going to put weird thoughts in your head. And Cruz says, I'm assuming you saw Woody Allen's, I sure did. Vicky Cristina Barcelona Super Antonio. I also have that on Blu-ray. What did you think of the film? And yes, I do have it on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I you know it's not my favorite. You know Woody Allen. He's like he's a great writer, but you know his personal life is just has kind of ruined his movies for me. So you know, um, it's not my favorite of her movies. I you know one of my favorites is her where you just hear her voice where she plays an AI that um that uh Joaquin Phoenix the Joker falls in love with and you know she has a wonderful voice Eric says I'm much older and the cartoons I grew up with were not anime one of the earliest Japanese animated adaptations I watched in the 70s was Star Blazers Serena says, was it Butcher Creek, LOL? 
Um, Star Blazers. I don't know that one, Eric. Star Blazers. Let's look it up. Star Blazers is an American animated television series adaptation of the Japanese anime series Space Battleship Yamoto from 1974. I've heard of Space Battleship Yamoto, and it is streaming on Crunchyroll. Where are we? Uh, Serena says, uh, no, I said that. Cruz says, yeah, Woody Allen is very controversial, though, although he has good movies. Yeah, I used to love Manhattan. And Mama One is here. Everyone say hi to Mama One. Greetings, Mama One. Mama One says, hello, everyone. David says, there she is. Serena says, hi, Mama. Eric says, very catchy opening song. You won't stop singing it. Mama One says, I'm sorry I was not here earlier or yesterday. Mama One, you never have to apologize on this channel. Appreciate you being here now. Mama One says, hey, David, Star Hearts, Super Antonio, and Sadie. Yeah, Sadie's here. Let's see if we can make her sit up for some potent canine bait. She had her bath tonight, so she's all clean and smells good. Hop, hop, hop. No, you want? Here, say hi to Mama One. Look at the camera. Let's say hi to Mama One and Sadie and David, or and Serena and David and Eric. And Ben's trends. Can you hear a crunch? Ben says, I did a reference to the 2006 Hills Have Eyes went to Beaver Hollow using only melee weapons like Doug when he went into the nuke crater. I saw that movie a long time ago. I don't even remember what it's about except I'm thinking cannibal mutants in the desert. David says, catchy song, watch Super Chicken. Chicken. Tinker asks, did you name Sadie after Sadie Adler? Interestingly enough, Tinker, I did not. I got her with that name. But she was not named after this game. I, you know, I, I am certain. But for some reason, they had named her Sadie. And I just, I mean, she answered to it. And um, it was perfect for the channel. Mama One says, Papa One was honored by the American Legion yesterday. We had to set up for his party. Shout out to Papa One. Well done. I'm certain he appreciated it and got to see all of his old friends and comrades and new friends and comrades at the American Legion. Serena says, I have watched Hills of Eyes Bends. That's a true story right there. Serena, you're so, you're so, you really enjoy truth. In fiction. Wolf Creek is a true story. You know Wolf Creek. That's down in your neck of the woods. And Cruz says, congratulations to Papa One. And David repeats the sentiment with grats to Mr. Mama One. <laughs> Cruz says, that movie hasn't aged well as far as graphics go, even though it was scary for its time. You know what movies age well are analog um, graphics. Like the thing, John Carpenter's The Thing, I which I highly recommend. It's sci, it's science fiction, um, you know, and that's all analog effects. It's all puppets, and and um, there's not one bite of CGI in that movie because CGI didn't exist, and it's still one of the one of the most suspenseful and frightening movies ever ever committed to film. Ben says. I was, what, well, where are we? Eric says, congratulations, Pop One. Ben says, I was always intrigued by Wrong Turn as well, especially the small, scary guy that used the crossbow. His name was Three Fingers and also Wolf Creek. David says, Deliverance. Yes, that one's from the 70s. Cruz says, I saw a pretty good movie the other day, though I completely forgot about the title. For now, I'm rewatching all of the Planet of the Apes movies in... In lieu of the new upcoming Apes films. Get your stinking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. Um, which is from the 1968 version. The original with Charlton Heston. Which I also have on Blu-ray. I have all the ones from the 70s on Blu-ray. I got a really good deal on the series. I haven't really watched the modern ones. 
Ben says, Deliverance as well. And Serena says, Yes, Wrong tr Turn is a good true story. I think, yes, Wolf Creek is a true story. And that's in your neighborhood, Serena. Ben says, When I stormed into Beaver Hollow using only melee, I was scared I was going to perish, but I felt like an action hero. The last action hero. 17 viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Appreciate you being here. Happy Saturday. Yep. Mama once says, he said many thanks to you all. He was overjoyed seeing his old war friends. Also, as a super surprise, we were able to find a nice lady who he saved from being assaulted by Viet Cong during the war. Wow. That's great, Mama One. Shout out to Papa One. He changed so many lives. I'm sure that that's a tremendous feeling. And Cruz says, oh, I remember it was a coming of age film with Killian Murphy. It was pretty good. Watched it after I woke up from a nightmare, LOL. Um, he did 28 Days Later, which is a great zombie movie. And that, my friends, is about all I have for you tonight, I think. Appreciate all of you being here. Shout out to the mods. Mama One, David, O-Dog. Are you, O-Dog, you're still here. Serena, of course. Christian, who moved on. Um, congratulations to Papa One, of course. Ben says, one of my favorite zombie movies that I consider a must-watch for any zombie fan is Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. It's a zombie comedy. I've heard of that movie I have regrettably not seen it. And Cruz says, movie with Killian Murphy was called Sunburn. That's about the the sun exploding, I, as I recall. Odog has a smiley emoticon, or maybe a head-scratching emoticon. David says, ta-ta, friends. Stay safe. Miko says, thanks for the stream. Miko, thank you for being here. Appreciate all of you, friends. 17 viewers in the chat. Uh, we shall return tomorrow night for the uh, Sunday campfire chat where I will have new footage of Sadie for you, which is, I found very charming. Um, everyone have a good night. Enjoy 